Hi, out here today, gonna build us a homebrew wire antenna. It's multi-band for 40 meter and 20 meters. And we're gonna make it out of this window line. Let's get started, see what we can do. Okay, so what we did was we took this 33 foot piece of window line and cut the end off here and soldered a uh, coax connector on the end of it. Here's the full piece of it right there. We're gonna go in here halfway at 17 feet and we're going to mark it and we're going to cut the 20 meter wire and we're gonna leave the 40 meter connected all the way through. So let's do that. So we've got the 20 meter cut right there and the 40 meter is gonna keep going to the rest of the way. And we'll finish cutting off the rest of this plastic and separate that uh, unused wire. In a previous video, we built this uh, radio plate to connect my radials to. I have uh, six 40 meter uh, radials on here that are 33 feet long. And now I just added six more 16 foot radials for the 20 meter uh, wire antenna. And uh, this connection here um, was where the, uh, the wire antenna had, I had before. So now we'll just go ahead and connect this on here and we'll be ready to get it out in the field. Okay, we got the radio plate over the spider beam out here and uh, 12 radials. This is kind of ugly. Ugh. I think we got them good. I think we can get them separated good though. Got the 40 meter wire connected. Uh, this is the rough cut, so we're gonna have to analyze this antenna once we get it in the air and the radio is kind of set in place. So, now we're, we're joined up with the 20 meter wire. We'll just uh, tape that there and then uh, we'll keep hoisting the rest of the way up. Good morning. Out here this morning um, making some repairs. Uh, last night uh, doing some uh, fine-tuned trimming I went a little too short on the 20 meter wire. So I got to solder this back on. I'm sure no one's ever made that mistake before, but I did. So we're gonna get that soldered back on. We got the generator out here and uh, we'll get to work on that. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> yeah, it ends right here. Uh, we had some problems. Once I got the uh, piece of wire um, soldered back on, my SWR, I got it relaunched back in the air, and my SWR was just bounced. The needle was bouncing all over on the 20 meter band. Uh, 40 meter, uh, 7 megahertz was fine. It was nice and solid. I had a good 1.0 to 1.1 SWR through pretty much the whole general band. But on 20 meters, that thing was just swinging and bouncing and all over the place. And I don't know why I couldn't figure out why. Um, I don't know if it was the wind blowing or what it was. So basically, um, we got some weather moving in. So we abandoned the project at this point and it's about, we're going back to this right here. Yes, sir. Radio for beginners, 10 cents right there. We're going for that. We're gonna start reading up a little more. There's actually radio lessons for free. <laughs> I don't know how old this book is. It says uh, copyright 1938 in the front here, but uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna take a look at this a little closer and uh, maybe I'll learn something. 
but anyway so it was a failure uh, the theory in theory it was gonna work and i'm sure it still would work i just um ran out of weather time to uh, keep tinkering with it here today so we're gonna revisit it another time but uh you know that's part of the ham radio you have successes and you have failures and this is not a failure yet it's just a to be continued so thanks for watching sorry we didn't have better news um but um uh, uh, glad you came along and hope you have a rest a uh, good rest of the weekend or week and uh, we'll see you later seven three